an 8-bit Rocket Studios production. Into the Virgo Black. Hi, this is 8-Bit Jeff here. We are starting a new video series that covers all of the game releases for Atari machines by various companies. The first up is Exoset, who produced a limited number of pretty good games in 1988 for the Atari ST and then seemed to vanish. I'm looking for more information on them. If I find it, I'll bring it to the next episode. I have decided to record with a webcam pointed at my real VGA monitor playing my real Atari ST this time. We'll see how that goes. Okay, on to the game. It's on here. Foundation's Waste is right here. And it is uh, a Haga by, this is by um, Peter, has created these versions that run off of hard drives. Peter Putnick, and um, I've also purchased his hard drive driver, and I'm use mostly use his so I've, I use his uh, software for image running and everything. He's a genius. So let's see what happens. Let's go for unlimited lives because that's how I roll. And this is the hard drive version. Let me have to turn. Ooh, I need to turn the sound down a little bit. And the, while we're, well, let's turn the sound down a little bit, and then we'll read a little bit about Foundations Waste, which is a game by Exoset Software, which our my friend Brandon purchased when, one of our, one of our first trips to, um, and you can see the SD right here. I mean, the real ST is right here. I'm I'm actually recording the screen. I don't have hardware for my laptop. I'll actually record the screen. I'm not sure why I can't get it to work, but um. But my friend Brandon purchased my 520ST from me in 1988, and then my brother and I bought a 1040ST. Um, and this is one of the first games Brandon bought, and we went down to a store in Orange County, California, and this was an import. So Exoset, um, and I'm going off Atari Mania. Atari Mania is where I get all my information. Um, also, Atari Crypt and Atari Legend are the two other great, fantastic um, Atari ST sites. This is the information from uh, from Atari Mania. Uh, they give the game genre shoot 'em up, machine language. Uh, it uses the joystick, one player, low resolution. Programmers Martin Beisch and Errol Ellenson. Graphics by Ellen Tomps Alan Tomskin. Game design by Martin and Errol. Uh, music by Wally Beban. Um, and this is by Exoset Software in 1988, originally released in England, and it's in English. And now we're going to try it because that's enough setup. And let me find my joystick. And I remember we were—I remember loving this game when we first got it. We had never played anything like this on an 8-bit computer or the ColecoVision that Brandon had, um, or our Atari 800 or our Atari 2600. One thing I don't like are the shots. But, and there's no real sounds, I don't think. Um, but that might be changeable. We can, now we can turn it up a little bit. Let's, oh, so I have unlimited lives. We can get through a bunch of this game. Oh, I'm terrible at this game. It's also really hard. But for being one of the first FC games we ever played, this is fantastic. We hadn't played any Bitmap Brother games or anything like that at this time, but this game is really good if you're looking for... Uh, if you're if you're moving to 16-bit games and suddenly you can play a game that's a little bit like uh, like um, like games you've seen in the arcade, or uh, some of our friends who maybe had an NES, and even NES games didn't look like didn't look like this. They maybe had better uh, sounds. Ooh. 
I actually have the the camera for nostalgic sake, even though it's actually very uh, works well. I have the camera, the webcam propped up on my CIB copy of Atari 2600 8500 because it. Oh, what's going on? I can hardly maneuver the ship. Anyway, it's propped up on 8500 box and because it works to prop it up. Having um, unlimited lives makes this game really easy to play through. We're going to try to get through a couple of levels here. Uh-oh. Something's wrong with this joystick. I don't know what was going on. It could be... Ooh, there's ships that look just like mine. Pop! Uh, I love, I love, really, I love, you know... I love the extra weapon. This is one of the first games we could get that had like bolt-on weapons on your ship and all kinds of stuff like that. And um, you know, it's an early game, but it, it, um, the programmers did a great job um, with the ST with this. I mean, just a really good job. It's not incredible, you know. It doesn't match Bitmap Brother games, but it's colorful and it's um, it's fun. It's hard. And listen to Wally Beeman's music. Ah, oh, this is some extra shots here. And you, you're actually bolt-on weapons, bolt-on, and you get more and more, which is pretty awesome. It's unlike some of the games where you'd swap out weapons, these, these bolt-on. Bolt this is blue what guy. Oh, it's giving me lasers. So now I have lasers and those little things that fire to the side. I blew up. I was looking at the, the computer capture screen to make sure it was capturing, and then, of course, wrong thing to do if you're uh, trying to play a game on the STE at the same time. Going, oh, did I get some control thing that maybe it's like pushing me left and right in the wrong direction? And what if it push me up and down in the wrong direction? I don't know if it's just an input thing, or if it's did I pick up like a bad power up or something? Ooh, what's the red thing? Is it? I bet it's an anti power up again. Oh uh, no, it gives me my lasers back. Oh, it gives me some better lasers back. Ooh, oh, I can pick the student. No, he's firing with me. Look, I got a guy that fires with me. I don't remember this. I remember sitting at Brandon's and playing this game a lot. But, um, I think we got Revenge of. Jo oh, we got Arkanoid, the first Arkanoid, at the same time as this in a game pack. This worked on a 520 ST with an external hard 360k hard drive. That's what Brandon had the entire time he had his ST because it was what we had purchased in 1987. Uh, from Computer Games Plus uh, in a parking lot. Ah, uh, this guy, we gotta blow him up. He's gonna be hard, I'm sure. But since I have unlimited, um... Uh, oh! Oh, wow. There are two of them. Maybe I can get by him. Maybe I can just go by him. Ah, uh, you can. You can just go by him. This is really a, a finger breaker with the joystick too, by the way. Okay, that's level one. I guess you didn't have to blow those guys up to make it through to level two. Let's just see part of level two, then we'll stop this test video. Cool music, Wally. looks like level one. I know that some of the levels don't look identical, but, um... Oh, wow. Look, guys, it's tough. Ooh, it's getting fa Oh, it got faster. Uh, uh, see, it wasn't slow because of the ST. It was just slow because that's the way the game was pro... It was meant to be slow at that This game's a really well-done Atari ST game. I'm telling you, like... <laughs> They're using all the channels for sound... for music. They could have used the noise channel 
to do sound effects, but it's actually using the noise channel, as you can hear, for dr a drum beat. Or I was gonna say maybe I went, maybe I had the. I'm going through level one again because I didn't finish. But no, this is not. This is this is the second level. Look, tanks. Yeah, this game, this is a game that needs a trainer, so I'm glad I have the trainer for the local unlimited ships. Oh, I blew up my extra bolt-on. Terrible. I love computer games and video games, I'm terrible at them. Okay, there's the train again. Oh, what's my bolt-on again? Went through level one again. I'm not sure. Cause I didn't complete by like, blowing up those two dudes. No, this is not level one. This is oh jeez. Uh, no, this is just like big dudes you gotta push. My fingers really getting cramping up from this. Uh... Okay, well that is a nice example of the greatness of Foundations Waste, which actually has a um. I'll turn this. I'm gonna um. I'll reboot this back into my um, desktop for a second here. Um, you can see that I'm I'm using the Peter Putnick's um, uh, hard driver, hardest driver by P. Putnick, 2014. I purchased that from him, and um, you can this Atari Mania three. Okay, I've I'm one of the people who voted for it. I get, it's got eight out of ten, which is great. More people need to play this game, so I'm I'm begging you, if you see this video. And you want to play a great game? Try out Foundations Waste on the Atari ST. If you're an Atari ST fan, if you don't care about the Atari ST, I don't, I don't know. Play Foundations Waste on the Atari ST, and go to Atari Mania and give it a good um, review. Thanks for watching this episode of the Games of Exoset: Foundations Waste on the Atari ST. Until next time. An 8-bit Rocket Studios production. Into the vertical flight.